Hey guys, Dr. Axe here, doctor of natural medicine and founder of DrAxe.com. In this video, I'm gonna do an advanced training on how to overcome multiple sclerosis. And I'll talk about the best diet, the best supplements, the best essential oils, and some cutting edge natural treatments for fighting multiple sclerosis, also known as MS. Now, MS is oftentimes caused through an autoimmune disease. And what happens in this autoimmune disease is your body starts attacking its own myelin sheath, which is essentially the sheath or what surrounds your spinal cord uh, within your body. And so there are many different thoughts on causes. Uh, many believe it could be caused by a condition called leaky gut syndrome. Some be people believe it's caused by mold toxicity. Some people different types of immune immunizations over time or just poor diet or even genetics, what I really believe and know is that there are many different factors that can cause it within the body. But the good news is, is I've worked with thousands of patients and seen great improvements in autoimmune disease when these five steps are taken. So let's first off start off talking about, well, let me actually say that some of the symptoms as well. Some of the big symptoms of MS, now when your myelin sheath gets damaged, that starts to affect the way that signals are sent from your brain to your body and from your body to your brain. It may result in sort of trouble thinking. It can cause blurred vision. It can cause issues with numbness and tingling or weakness in muscles. Um, it can cause lack of proprioception or balance and coordination. All of those are some of the biggest warning signs and side effects of MS and multiple sclerosis. So let's start talking about number one thing you need to do in overcoming MS is we need to take care of the root cause of MS, which is a condition called leaky gut syndrome. We've got to heal and seal the gut lining. In order to do that, we've got to reduce inflammation throughout your entire body. So step number one, get the inflammatory foods out of your diet. Number one, gluten and casein. So gluten is a protein found in, in, in wheat products. Most breads and grains today go completely gluten-free. The next thing is get conventional dairy products out of your diet. Now, if it's a goat's milk yogurt you bought from a farmer, that's fine, but all cow's milk dairy for the most part, you wanna get out of your diet because casein, similar to gluten, causes inflammation of that gut lining, causing autoimmune disease and more MS-like symptoms. A few other things you really wanna get out, artificial sweeteners, any type of sugar, or at least processed sugar, such as high fructose corn syrup, white sugar, even natural sugars, such as maple syrup and coconut sugar, you really wanna go very low in sugar or sugar-free on this MS diet as we really fight autoimmune disease, this reaction that's happening within your system. The other things you wanna do or get rid of in your diet are conventional grains. Go completely grain-free. You really wanna restrict a lot of these excess carbohydrates going grain-free for a period of time. And then also getting rid of the fats and oils that cause inflammation, canola oil, vegetable oil, any type of, of processed oil, get it out of your diet. The next step, step number two in healing your body and overcoming MS is to really consume a diet that helps heal and seal the gut lining, helps reduce inflammation, and especially consume foods that support the brain, the spinal cord, and your nerves. We wanna support those areas. So one of the most popular diets for fighting MS is called the ketogenic diet, okay? So the ketogenic diet, that's where maybe 80% of your diet is fat and maybe like 15% protein, 5% carb. So it's a very, really low or no carb diet, but there are people out there that have shown that actually doing a lot of these fats can help. Now, I don't recommend straight ketogenic, but I do recommend a diet that is very anti-inflammatory and higher in healthy fats. So I would consume a lot of things like uh, saturated fats like coconut oil. I would do monounsaturated fats that are found in things like olive oil, avocados and almonds. I'd recommend loads of omega-3 fatty acids you're gonna find in things like wild-caught salmon, other fish such as tuna, mackerel, sardines, any type of fish that has omega-3 fats. Also certain nuts and seeds like walnuts, um, even hemp seeds, chia seeds, flax seeds. You know, getting more of those omega-3s in your diet is key. So number one, get more healthy fats. Number two, only consume carbohydrates that reduce inflammation. I would go grain-free for the most part and load up on fruits and vegetables, okay? Two servings of fruit a day is gonna be great. Some of the best are gonna be antioxidant-rich fruits such as blueberries, raspberries, pomegranates are some of the best. 
and then loads of vegetables. I would say 50% of your diet, if you have MS, should be both cooked vegetables or mostly cooked vegetables and a little bit of raw here and there, but mostly cooked vegetables. And last thing here, getting good quality protein sources that helps rebuild tissues in your body. Number one protein is bone broth. Bone broth contains amino acids, proline, glycine, and glutamine. Those help repair damaged tissues in your gut, which is gonna stop that autoimmune reaction, which is going to keep your myelin or your myelin sheath from demyelinating, the main cause there of multiple sclerosis. So again, number one protein, bone broth. You can do a bone broth powder in a smoothie. Also doing things like wild caught salmon, organic chicken and turkey, grass fed beef, but getting some of those good quality proteins, good carbohydrates and vegetables and fruits, and loads and loads and loads of healthy fat. That is the ideal diet for you. And if you wanna look for a more specific diet, you might also even look into the GAPS diet that stands for G-A-P-S, it's gut and psychology system because it deals with the gut and the brain connection when it comes to autoimmune disease. That's a perfect diet for fighting MS. Number three, the best supplements for fighting MS are going to be supplements that help support the gut and that reduce inflammation. The first one is gonna be an omega-3 fatty acid supplement, 1,000 milligrams twice a day of an omega-3 fat that has EPA and DHA, like a cod liver oil, a fish oil, a fish roe supplement. That's gonna be the best and where you wanna start. The next thing you wanna do is a vitamin D3 supplement. We know vitamin D is not just a vitamin, it's a pro-hormone. It supports the brain and the nerve system, taking 5,000 IUs twice a day is ideal. The next thing you wanna do is a high quality vitamin B complex that has good amounts of vitamin B12. We know that B vitamins, especially vitamin B12, support nerve tissue, so you wanna make sure you're getting a good quality vitamin B supplement in your diet on a regular basis. And you might also consider a formula or supplement that supports leaky gut syndrome. It may contain licorice root and L-glutamine, different types of probiotics and enzymes. You can take a formula that supports the gut lining. Those are the best supplements for fighting MS. And the last thing I would say for a supplement would be a good quality probiotic supplement. I would do 50 billion IUs twice a day. So 100 billion IUs, every single day to fight MS. Step number four to help overcome MS or multiple sclerosis is going to be using essential oils. My favorite essential oils for fighting MS are going to be rosemary oil, frankincense, myrrh, and helichrysum. Also, I would say an oil like lavender uh, and chamomile are beneficial as well. Now, rosemary oil is a number one essential oil that actually supports the brain and the memory and really supports your nerve tissue. So rosemary oil, number one. Um, and I'll talk about how to use those here in just a second. So rosemary oil, next one is gonna be frankincense oil. Frankincense oil actually helps support your immune system and your autoimmune response. Um, helichrysum oil supports nerve tissue. Uh, the other thing uh, here is myrrh oil in a similar fashion to frankincense, really reduces inflammation in the body, helps modulate your immune system. And then lavender oil helps calm the body as does chamomile. What I always do is take some of those essential oils, maybe you know pick three of them. I would do two drops of each. I would rub it on your head area, rub it on your neck. And if you see a massage therapist or have your spouse or a friend do this, have them do these drops on your spine and go up and down the spine multiple times. So using this on the upper, on the neck air, on the head, the neck, back of the neck, and even down the entire spine is how you want to use those essential oils. You can mix them with a little bit of coconut oil and essentially do just strokes up and down the neck, the spine, and the top of the head. That's a natural MS treatment using essential oils oils. And last but not least, if you're struggling with MS, I'd recommend you see a natural hair healthcare practitioner. You could see a doctor of functional medicine. You could see a wellness chiropractor. Oftentimes chiropractic adjustments will remove stress from the spine, which can support healing. And then an acupuncturist, such as a five elements acupuncturist. Again, a doctor of functional medicine is going to do more testing and treatments along the way. A chiropractor can remove stress 
an interference from the nerve system, and an acupuncture is probably one of my favorite natural treatments for supporting the body's natural immune response and supporting your body in the natural healing process. So guys, hey, if you wanna learn more about natural treatments for MS or multiple sclerosis, just do a Google search online. Search my name, Dr. Axe Autoimmune Disease, Dr. Axe MS, Dr. Axe Multiple Sclerosis. You're gonna find I have an advanced, in-depth article online right now you can go and check out. Also, hey, I'm gonna do more of these advanced teachings here on YouTube. So hey, make sure right now you take some time, subscribe to the YouTube, my YouTube station here so you don't miss anything in the future. Hey guys, I wanna say thanks so much for watching. This has been me, Dr. Josh Axe, talking about natural treatments for multiple sclerosis.